Welcome back to Lation Park for the QFA Div 1 Hartsball Cup Grand Final where we've got Noosa 5-4-34, Trailer Maruchador 5-11-41. Jack Barry, a man on the ground along with Luke Carroll have been out and about in the rooms. What do you got for us, gentlemen? Yeah, I was in Maruchador's rooms and Andrew Cadzo and the boys are up and about. They're feeling confident. They've been well rotated for the next second half, so they feel like they're a four-quarter team. They'll probably start a bit smaller up forward into the wind. Uh, and they're, uh, you, their back six, very happy with their back six. Luke, Noosa? Yeah, semi four, a bit the same. He's uh, really happy with their first half. Just got to make sure this quarter uh, going into the, into the, uh, with the breeze, it's hoping they've just got to lower their eyes so they can utilise uh, you know, the use of the breeze. Had inside 50s, they're probably in front. They just got to make sure that they get this reward for effort inside 50. Great work, Jack, Barry and Luke Carroll. Our men on the ground as they're out and about. We'll have a quick recap of our goal kickers before we get underway. So for Noosa, Willow Dwyer, Jai Fitzpatrick, Corey Boardman and Liam Kenny, who's got two, are our goal kickers. While for Maruchidor, Mitch Scollard's got a couple, Josh Norman, Daniel Zufa, the captain, and young Noah Cumberland have got one each. So five goals apiece, a few extra points and scoring opportunities here for Maruchidor as we, teams are uh, making their way out to get underway. Danny, you're in the coach's box. What are you doing differently? If well, you're in charge of Maruchi, oh, thanks, Marlon. You gave me a team. That was something. Um, oh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm doing a lot different. They've they've been pretty solid today. They they've been wanting to get their hands on a bit more footy though. They've um, they've probably had uh, had less inside fifties than Maruchi uh, than the Noosa across the board. So they want to lift their work rate a bit. Some of their stars, Josh Philo, in one in particular, hasn't really got hold of much of the footy. Even Dan Zufer a bit down on his usual output. They're going to need to lift a bit. But then again, Noosa, whilst they've been good, need plenty from their boys too. We're underway in the third quarter. Great tap down to Ainsworth from Simpson. Ainsworth chucks it on the left, put, punches it forward. Norman charged out, made good contact. Finn's in there battling for the footy. And we'll have a restart 13 seconds in inside the Marucci door ruse half forward line. Ty Williams Barrett. Battles there. Norman is in everything. He's been busy, had a good solid first half. Again, players just diving in over the top of each other. There's a lot of uh, directions coming from the coach's box beside us. He's just good inside the phone booth in the Normo. He just gets hand to foot really well. Um, whilst he hasn't been dominant, he does look dangerous. So as it comes across there, now young Jakey Warren, beautiful work from him. Handballs to the danger spot, to no one in particular, comes back out. Maruchidor with the numbers, Templeton wrapped up. And and, uh, and unfortunately for him, uh, he's been paid a free kick against, probably a little bit stiff. Again, the old prior rule doesn't seem to exist much nowadays. And and Maruchidor, the recipient of the, go, of the kick, and it goes to Jackie Gale, who's going to shoot from uh, 35, directly in front, in the opening minute of the third quarter. Good, ta good Tassie boy, Alveston in Tasmania. Gale comes from good footy stock. Comes back, slow approach on the left foot. Punches at it. And they like it. And Maruchidor get the first goal of the third quarter of the QFA Hartsport Cup here at Laysham Park in Briz, Vegas on a stunning spring afternoon. And they extend their lead from out uh, 6 11 47 to Noosa 5 4 34. And that's a really important goal to kick off. Danny. Well, it's a, and it, it changes things a little bit because Noosa kicked the opening goal of both the first and the second quarter, so got out of box beautifully. This time it's Marucci door in what's a critical third quarter. The Premiership quarter, quarter as they call it, Baz, and uh, Marucci door with already a seven-point lead, extend that now to 13 points, and they'll be happy with that start as we uh, as we come back to the centre bounce. Big Simpson v McDonald. Has it been all year? Simo wins the hit out down to Ainsworth. He's clever in that uh, contested situation. Williams has been good. Back to Simpson. He can't break clear. It's really great defence by Noosa as Hill drives inside 50. Long kick to the square. And Kenny over the back. Can't take it. He butters up. He's been better in the uh, as the game goes on. Fitzpatrick trying to scrum through and grab the footy. He still has it. Zips it back and uh, has a shot at goal. But it's smothered and over. Run over the line for a behind. And uh, Marucci. Uh, sorry, Noosa kick a, kick a score and they go to 5-5-35, trailing Marucci 6-11-47. And the ball's being brought back in here by, it uh, looks like Brent Pearson. So Zufa with a long kick, Zufa. played onto himself, quick hands in there by Gordon, goes inside in the Templeton direction, good contest. Boardman gets chased down but still gets his kick away. 
Ball gets knocked forward to Young Willow Dwyer in the forward pocket. As the ball gets will get thrown back in by the boundary umpire deep in Noose's attacking forward 50. Life well, throws it in. Tromp in the ruck against Simpson. Tromp tries to knock it over the back. Boardman. Ainsworth's in there. Batlin as well. McKendrick. Chase Kennedy hands to really to nobody. Baker comes charging in. And a quick oh, snap on goal. I tell you what. That's, that's not a bad little effort by Joy Fitzpatrick. With the little check side. And the umpire gave him the two finger salute. And a really important goal for Noosa. They needed that as they bring the margin back to one straight kick at the three minute 47 mark of the third quarter. We can talk about phone booths and Josh Norman, but I tell you what, Joy Fitzpatrick doesn't need a lot of space as he uh, zipped onto that. He had a go previously and then got onto that beautifully, Baz, and the old check side, as you pointed, from 30 metres, mind you, with the breeze. Uh, a great finish from him. A uh, really important goal, too, for Noosa, given. Maruchidor had scored the, uh, the opening one in the stanza. Interesting note, Ainsworth wasn't that busy in the first half. Got his hands on both centre clearances. So he's a player Noosa will need to keep an eye on. They don't want him getting his hands on the footy because he can be really damaging. He's quite creative as we restart here at four and a half gone in the second quarter. Again, Simpson and McDonald and Simpson gets a tap down. Where's Ainsworth? No, not this time. Templeton. He gets the footy, just knocks it, knocks it out. Bit of a contest. Jakey Warren's in there, breaks away, flicks it around the corner in the Scholar direction in a one-on-one -on -one with Lasky again. And the umpire's come in and he's paid the mark. Looked a little generous, but he certainly had his hands on a number of times. And Scholar will line up from his third, just at around the five-minute mark of the third quarter, about 40 metres out on a fairly slight angle. But he is kicking into a bit of a swirly breeze. Yeah, he is, Barry. Uh, been a, a real professional this year, Mitch Scullard. Kicked four goals in the state game earlier in the year in a, in a low dower affair, a bit similar to this one, which helped win the game. His quality, and he'll line up for his third. He really needs, from Maruchidor's point of view, to put this one through because uh, uh, goals win matches as he shoots. Allows for the post. It drifts across the face, though. Not a great kick from him. And it's just the uh, just the minor score, 6-12-48. Uh, Maruchidor, 6-5-41 to Noosa. As it's punched back in, Hill overruns the football, around 50. This is Jack O'Ryan, who's been good. Fleming, who's also been good in the second quarter, has a shot on goal and pulls across the face. And it's another minor score, Barry. 6-13-49 to 6-5-41. An eight-point ball game, five minutes in. He had uh, more dance moves than Fred Astaire, Fleming, as he stepped through there very nicely. As the ball gets brought back in, Gordon's got the ball deep in the back pocket for Noosa. Looking around, eyes darting left and right, just decides to go down the safety of the line, right in front of our central commentary box as players fly. No one can gain possession. Lang's fighting in there. Tromp had the boot in, and the umpire said, uh, kicking in danger, and Lang... Lockie Lang will take the free kick. Trump isn't overly happy, but quite composed. The umpire calls play on as he steps off his mark, kicks it into centre forward. Numbers are with uh, Gale quickly off the back of the pack there, unopposed. Noosa just hack away again, but it's all Maruchidor's Pearson takes it on the half volley, just smacks it, goes the barrel inside 50. Get under that and play fair, he says, as the ball trickles out of bounds. Oh, that's a bit of 1970s right there, Baz. Get the ball and bash it in long. Just get it, kick the kick, as Pearson did. Uh, not to a great spot, but uh, Maruchidor have retained possession inside uh, inside 50 as, uh, as Big Scholar knocks it forward into the danger spot. He butters up on the right foot, snaps across and kicks yet another behind for Marucci. They uh, peppered the goals at various stages and uh, have come very close, but without the score. So it's 6-14-50, they lead to uh, uh, lead Noosa, 6-5-41, nine points, seven minutes in, Barry. Quite smart letting Scholar take the ruck in the forward 50 because he loses his defender and then he becomes real dangerous and the ball yep. hits the ground as the ball's out there now with Lang on the far centre wing in front of the McDonald sign. Noosa, play on quickly. Pumps it inside, Baker's been solid down back. Here's Young Willow Dwyer, runs onto the foot, he's got some pace. Oh, fantastic tackle by Finn. I think that's Finn down there. Sturton. Sturton, outstanding. He chased the young fella down. Dwyer's look dangerous every time it's gone inside 50. Well, it could be Young Cumberland because they've got 
Uh, Sturton and Cumberland got the same cummerbund uh, in the hair, the hairstyle that they both. So we'll just see when he turns around. In fact, no, it was Sturton, the, old, the, uh, the older Sturton was the one that executed that tackle. As, uh, as Pierso, or Lewis, on to Ainsworth. Ainsworth, out to Pearson. Back out now to, it looks like perhaps Cumberland on the left foot. Kicks it. Finds Scholard. So it's a good ball movement there from uh, Marucci. I got one out here if they get the kick right. And he's found Jack Gale. He needs to use this now. But there's not much there for him. Goes inside 50 looking for Norman who uh, juggles the mark. He gets three bites up by says, no good for you, my friend, as he knocks it further onto the 50. And Cumberland dives on the football, looking for it. No one can quite grab it, Baz. And it's going to be a ball up. Exciting passage in front of our commentary box here, Barry. Good movement by Marucci. But it's, uh, it's all come to a star, mate. I think those young blokes, Warren and Cumberland, same with O'Dwyer, they're going to be busy late in the last quarter when the older guys maybe start to tire as the ball goes in front of our half forward just to soccer off the ground. Uh, that was uh, Stewart to come through. He gives it to Templeton on the left foot. Thumps it towards goal in the Kenny direction. And it's just through for a minor, minor score. <coughs> as uh, the score margin is brought back to eight points with Marucci door in front here. That's a kick in. Bond slides into the mark there. Still in his defensive. Chips it sideways. Out to Jace Kennedy. Kennedy again just chipping. They're just looking to maintain possession just to clear that defensive side. And this is Pearson. He's actually been quite uh, quite solid. Covered he, some territory. Well, he's got a lot of footy, Baz. He's not normally a high possession winner. Uh, he's certainly got, he's always got plenty of uh, things going on out there when he's uh, playing his opponent, but today he's actually had a he's had a good grand final, fair to say. Zufa just chips away into Philo, who's been reasonably quiet. They'd like to see him get more of the footy. He chips again, back out to uh, to Zufa, who just worked up the line for a little chip kick. They've had about eight possessions and gone 25 metres, but they wouldn't be too disappointed that as Zufa now goes long in the uh, in the direction of looks like young Cumberland who flew. Ball, Lang just ground level, working hard. Skylight in there, ball got knocked out. Thorpe took possession, got his kick away. Cumberland again, Hand, quick hands inside. Oh, oh. Sloppy that. kick, bit of a wasted uh, kick there by Finn. And uh, ball going nowhere fast other than over the boundary line by the looks of it. And the umpire says, that is correct, we'll have a throw in. You just feel the game's on the precipice, Baz. Mruchidor looking a bit dangerous. Players like Zufa and Philo getting their hands on the footy. Uh, they got some upside. Noosa have got to be careful. They can't afford to go two or three or four goals down, especially when they're kicking with this breeze this quarter. Good attack on the footy. Here's Cumberland. Quick hands inside. Quick snap around the corner by Norman. And he's kicked a sausage roll at the 11-minute mark of the third quarter to extend their lead out by 14 points. That was a handy, uh, handy shot around the goal corner. And good hand spot to go back inside there by Cumberland. And for a young man, he made a smart decision. Oh, terrific uh, work by Cumberland. Only 17, the young kid, as we spoke about, uh, had a had a real impact in the final a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and uh, and again, he's held his spot for the grand final. And today, he's been uh, good in patches, and that was a great little hand. Of course, off across to Norman, who's also been solid all day. So Marucci door now, 14 point buffer. 11 minutes into the third quarter. This is when premierships are won and they're into the teeth of the breeze. Noosa, we need a response from them in the next 10, 15 minutes. Thorpe gets the tap down. Ryan knocks it forward. No one can take clean possession. That was Holt who charged in. And whilst we got a little bit of a break, I want to give a shout out to Larry Bischoff, who's in Sale, Victoria, watching. Larry's been a bit unwell. Joel Lamborn's granddad. G'day to you, Larry. As the ball gets knocked forward there, Holt again gets a handball out. That's Finn, battling away. Tronk working hard, Boardman. Chip around the corner in the wide direction, but Lang's there putting the pressure on. No one can get clean possession. Pearson just hacks away again, but uh, resolute in defense. There is Harrison Maher as he goes backwards and finds Gleeson. Oh, an outstanding smother there from Scollard as the ball gets rushed through for a behind. And uh, Gleeson will bring the footy back on the outer side. He drives it long. Gale, oh, beautiful work from Gale on the left foot, kicks it forward. Ainsworth coming into the game further it goes on. 
He's not the not the greatest, uh, the, the, the quickest bloke on the ground, but he's great around stoppages and reads it well. Kicks it inside 50 to the hot spot for Marucci Door. He's scored over the back. Can't complete the mark. Comes down. Boardman, good, clever out of there. Across to Harry Maher on the left foot. He drives it and he's found his opponent. Uh, sorry, his teammate there in Riley O'Dwyer, I think. He kicks it forward and uh, straight to the opposition, Marucci. This could be Gale. No, it's Zufa. Zufa this time. He's coming into the game as well in this third quarter. And it's a free kick to Marucci, I'd suggest. In the back. In the back of... They called a holding. Called a holding. A holding. Yes. Certainly he was in, the, in front of his scholar, I think, Baz, yep. uh, by the looks. He's lining and, up um, for, uh, for his third of the day. There's a bit of panic when you've got a player like Scholard who's coming into the game, Baz, and you're a defender. You're just going to get a bit bit twitchy when the ball keeps coming in like it has in the early parts of this third quarter. And um, and Mitch Scholard with a chance here to put Marucci door. 21 points in front if he kicks it. And uh, a real defining kick, you would say. Scholard steady over the footy. Just steers it through for his third. Gives a fist pump to the Marucci door faithful. And they extend their lead a little bit more out now. And uh, this, uh, this is, could be getting in dangerous territory for Noosa. This ball seems to be all left of screen Marucci door's way at the moment. 6 6 42 Noosa. Trail of Marucci door 8 15 63. 14 and a half gone in the third term here at Laysham Park in Brisbane. Well, again, not, not all games go to script, Baz, and it's fair to say, um, especially grand finals, but when you're kicking with bruise and you're not able to take advantage of it, you put yourself uh, in a real uh, tip, difficult position. 20 points is hardly unassailable, but um, they really need to make use of that bruise the rest of this quarter. Hill sharks the ball off the tap. The umpire calls advantage for the high contact. Quick hands over to O'Dwyer. Goes back inside with the handball to McKendrick. Handball again oh, to Sammy Four. And Sammy Four slams one home and they needed that one, Danny. Oh, yes. A fantastic passage of play. The young fellow O'Dwyer, he's been super impressive for a 16-year-old. Turned inside, brought the back in the corridor and really created that opportunity for the Tigers. Well, Nick Hill has also lifted his rating a bit. Uh, good work from him. He's got the clearance. As you say, young Will O'Dwyer has been good all day. The young Will of the Wisp and he flicked it out beautifully and it ended up in the coach's hands and he's very good when he's around uh, range for goal as he showed then and uh, really important perhaps for him, the coach, to uh, get into the game because um, they really need him from a uh, from a goal goaling point of view. They need more goals. Kenyon Mosley tosses it high in the air. This McDonald gets hands on the footy. Players pile in. It's a bit, bit of organised chaos in there. Quick hands out by Holt to Stack to Templeton on the left foot. He's looking for rain. You're not going to get it on a day like today, son. Big contact. Zufa with a big left-handed fist over the top. Ainsworth collects the footy on the far wing. Chips it down the line. Looking for Gale. Good hands in there. Templeton again. Quick hands in. Back to Stack. Fantastic rundown tackle there. And uh, that looks like Brody Finn. Looking left. Looking right. Eyes at Darton. Comes back inside. Finds Jay Lewis. Lewis has got someone on the far wing out here. Chips it out wide. Oh, oh. fell at the crucial time. Great tackle by oh. young Will O'Dwyer. And he's been rewarded. He'll get the free kick. About 65 out. Got players down the outside. Fakes. Then kicks it to the top of the square. Oh, and the ball just drops over the back to Delbury. Oh, but he played it. on. I don't know what he was doing. Maybe he thought it was touched. And he scores a uh, scores a behind. I think he might have got a little bit shell shocked that the ball landed in his lap. Well, yes, Baz. I'm certainly a little bit of panic. Uh, again, the umpire may have called touch and he forced him to play. I'm not sure, but from here, uh, it was a bit of a rush rush decision. Missed the goal, nevertheless. Is Zufa, who's come right into this third quarter, kicks it long and wide. Tyle Williams with a one hander. Great grab from Young Tyle. And uh, he's been okay today, Tyle. He kicks it up onto the wing. Looking for his mate there in Scollard and Norman. They both fly. And someone's been rewarded. It looks like Noosa. They've buried Aaron Lasky in that launch of the football. And Lazza, who's been a, been a very good player today, Lasky. Been opposed to Scollard at times. Oh, no, it's a poor kick. Bond, straight off the bench. He kicks it out in front of Scollard, who's running onto it. Young Harry Mardo beats him to it. And uh, boots it outside 50 to no one in particular, Bats. Hill. He's got the run of the footy, leads, leads Finn, but Finn runs past him. Some younger legs, ball goes inside. 
Handball there by Gale, flicks it out the back. Ainsworth, Jackson Ryan, pops in the Norman direction, gets oh, the hands up, the numbers everywhere. Good work there by, that was uh, Lasky, the skipper. Soccer off the ground, the scholar there, but it's all Noosa and they can uh, repel here as carry the ball forward. Coach Sammy Force says, carry it, have a bounce, son, as he kicks it down the line. Looking for McKendrick. Oh, that would have been a coach higher mark of the day had he grabbed that one, but he didn't. And the ball trickles out of bounds in front of our central commentary box. 18 and a half gone. And it's uh, Noosa 7 7 49, trailer to 8 15 63 as the umpire throws it back in. So Simpson, McDonald, they've been at it all day and all year. And Jackson Ryan, the great story today. But in this occasion, he's dropped the football and the coach, Sammy Farr, says, Give it to me as he executes that tackle. Drives it inside 50, looking for something, looking for Delbridge, looking for Kenny over the back. He butters up. It's Maruchidor with the footy on the ground inside 50 at the minute, though. And uh, I don't think they're going to do, be able to do much with that ball. The umpire says, give it to me. And uh, the game's just hotted up a bit, Barry. The Noosa have kicked the last one. They've, it's a 14-point ball game. And, um, and the game's really opened up. Plenty of help from the punters in the wet area down there for the umpires, trying to give them a bit of coaching. This looks like Fitzpatrick gets a lip. The umpire said no, he went to ground. Footy's hit the deck and he's pinged him for it. And this will be, looks like Jace Kennedy, I think it is. He's got the footy. Left footer just chips it out wide in the Simpson direction. The big fella competes. Umpire said high contact. No advantage there. Simpson, I... Come on, Leggy, work! Leggy, Leggy! Look for Zufa to get a little handball here. No. Simpson just comes down the line. Skolard will fly for this one. Lang was there as well. Ball goes out the back. Plays around the footy. Lang, Stewart, quick hands again. Fitzpatrick, the target was missed. And the umpire will throw the ball back in. As we hit red time in the third quarter here at Lation Park. Simpson and McDonald will go head to head in the ruck. Connor, knock, Connor McDonald knocks it down, quick hands out the back. Here's Hill on the burst. Goes for a little bit of a check side, which was a strange kick under the circumstances. And the ball trickles out of bounds about 15 metres around from the Noosa goal. Generally very good around that goal is Nick Hill. And on that occasion, just butchered it going forward. Uh, not what he was looking for, I'd imagine. So Noosa really need to, this next goal to stay in touch as it goes. It gets thrown in here. Big Simo just fists it forward. It's going to work for him possibly as Cumberland takes it, but no. He's just dropped it cold, says the umpire. And Mitch Woods, the GM for Noosa, and a man that you've had plenty of time, uh, plenty of things to do. Basil, I suppose, is part of his job in the AFLQ. He's going to have a shot for goal, uh, perhaps from 50. He looks, gets the distance. No, no, his eyes are darting. That's a first sign that he's not confident. But if he pops it out to that left goal post, he gets a bit of purchase on it. The wing could do the rest for him. As he goes back, does exactly that, but probably goes too far out. Big contest, lots of numbers around. The ball just gets hacked through for a rush behind. And uh, they creep ever so close to margin back to 13 points. This is the 21 and a half minute mark here in the third quarter. Zufa looking around, not sure which way, kicks it to himself. Oh. Makes a bit of a meal of it, but still gets his kick away. Kicks in the direction of Scholar, it'll impact the contest. Lang did as well, plays around the ball. Young Noah Cumberland, and the ball gets forced over, over the boundary line. Good pressure from Woods there. Bit of push and shove, the umpire just lets it go. Umpire Michael Bowd. I think the umpire's done an outstanding job today. Yeah, no, but by and large, we haven't seen a lot of, caught a lot of them, because they haven't made too many mistakes. It's, it's a free kick off the ball. And it's going to Sam, Sam Nelson. Uh, Willow Dwyer protesting his innocence, but uh, looks like someone was held. As Nelson goes short and dangerous, but it pays off. Fleming at half back from Ruchi Door. Daniel Fleming had a good season. Another one of the locals on the Sunshine Coast from Ruchi. Drops it forward. Flicked out there. Brody Finn on to Cumberland, the youngster, 17 year old, over the top of Josh Norman. Wrapped, butted up there by uh, Gleeson on to Lasky, but Norman's up to the task. Does this bounce right for Jack Ryan? He gets it just inside. It's got to be a good hands. It is a good hands. He's found it in the hands of Mitch Bond. He goes, bang, and we kick another goal, Marucci. Marucci says, thank you very much. 
and they kick clear by 19 points, Barry, and uh, at the 23 minute mark of the third quarter, Marucci 9-15-69, lead Noosa 7-8-50, it's 19 points. Terrific work there from Jackson Ryan, keeping it in, and a bond with the supporting run, helped them finish it off. Footy can be a cruel game, Noosa had the footy in their, in their forward half there for a good couple of minutes, had a couple of shots on goal, but again, just continue to bomb the footy in and see it get rushed over, where Noosa, um, on the other hand, Marucci door, they find space when they go forward, they go forward, bang, kick a really easy goal. Yep. So that's, uh, that hurts Noosa, but still well in the game, only a 19 point margin. As McDonald gets a knockdown, good tackle by Ryan. Lots of numbers around the footy as, as always in, in around those centre clearance. McDonald gets a quick hand out. Hill's in there battling away and the umpire says, I'll, uh, I'll have it, thank you very much. And we'll have a restart at the 20, just tick over nearly to 24 minutes here in the third quarter. McDonald takes the ball out of the ruck, kicks it forward again. Just a long bomb inside 50. Baker runs under the footy. Here's Young O'Dwyer again. Tries to keep it in, but the ball's uh, taken over the line there by the full Nelson, and we'll have a throw in. It's exciting, young O'Dwyer, 16, and uh, not on, not as I'm aware of any academies or anything at this stage. I think after this afternoon, there's a couple of judges in that development phase of junior development. Uh, they'll be looking at the young fellow this afternoon on his performance. Yeah, he's certainly exciting. He's, he's a little fella, but he's not, uh, he's not afraid of anything. On cue, he just knocks the ball back inside. Numbers just scrapping around the footy. No one can. Woods gets a handball out, but put his teammate under pressure. Went in, took the legs out of his opposition. Here's O'Dwyer. Goes one way, goes the other way. Put the arm out to do the dusty button and got pinged straight away by the umpire. And this will be Cumberland with the footy in the half back flank. He'll just go safety down the line. Takes him on. And he just pushed him away. It's not today, little fella. And then. Uh, there's Lambour that came in and gave a late charge and uh, Lambour, your granddad Larry wouldn't be happy with that one back in Sale Victoria son, you can't do that. It's a downfield free kick, looks like Philo, no Norman's going to come up and take the free kick. The umpire's picked him out. On the wing, right in front of our commentary box, Norman chips it down the forward line. Oh, a nice, really measured kick as he finds Bond. Yeah, that's Bond. Wheels around on the right, goes looking for Scollard. Numbers at ground level if they can find it. But a strong mark there by Harrison Maher and he chips it on the left, out to the left. And uh, the Nick Hill drops what he should have taken, follows up with a good tackle on Jakey Warren. I think the umpire will have to intervene here. A bit of, bit of a stalemate in front of the John Pearce scoreboard here at Lation Park in Yeronga. So we're 26 minutes into the uh, third term and uh, there's a premiership up for grabs this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and Marucci Dora making every fist at the moment of looking like taking it. As, uh, it. It's driven forward there, Cumberland couldn't get it forward. Defensively kicked out, Simpson finds it. On to Josh Philo on the left, he's been quiet this afternoon but getting a bit of it in the third quarter. On to Kennedy with the left foot, foot looking there for Scott. He's brushed off it and Lasky who's been Quite good, probably one of Noosa's best to be fair to say. Flicks it on to Woods, another experienced campaigner. Kicks it long, it's a two on one. Nelson takes the mark. He's gonna drive Marucci back. He goes through the corridor, finds Finn. Oh, he's opened up here if he can find his teammate there in uh, Fleming. He, he gets it inside, it's opened the game up here. Warren finds it. He's 30 clear and marks it. 35 out on a nice Nice little angle there from And if you have a quick look in the middle of the ground, Boardman, hands on, hands on his head, there's a couple of them. Hill, they're blowing the Noosa players. I think Maruchidor getting that overlap run where they're getting the players on the outside, really testing them. Maruchidor working their bench overtime to make sure they keep players fresh. As Warren, steady approach, 30 metres out on the right foot, pushes it to the left and hits the goal post for his cause and uh, they could have done some serious damage had he steered that through but they seem to be getting a little bit of overlap run now Dan and I reckon that could be dangerous for Noosa. They I reckon they want this siren to sound in this oh, third quarter so they can regroup. Absolutely, the signs are all there at the moment. It's all Marucci and Noosa as you say. Just need to regroup. It's not beyond them, no doubt about it. The, uh, the breeze doesn't seem to have had the impact that it, you would think it would have even though it's worth perhaps two or three. As Finn drives it inside 50. Noosa couldn't, couldn't maintain it there. Scollard flicking it around. 
looking for Cumberland. It's good smother there by Warren. He's been in the action the last couple of minutes, but now here they go. They've got some numbers. Outside 50, Woods finds his teammate there in Nick Hill. Handballs across to Reed Gordon, across to Templeton. They need to keep going here. Foul. He should be able to use it. Good user of the footy normally. Goes long and it's a free. And it's probably a Noosa one, and it is. A free kick to Noosa. Looks like Kent Delbridge is the recipient. A holding free kick. And uh, couldn't have come at a better time for the Noosa Tigers. 28 and a half minutes into the third quarter. Trailing by 20 points. And Kent Delbridge is going to kick from just 20 metres out, Barry. Huge kick for Delbridge. Just about ticking over 29 minutes here in the last quarter. And they're 20 down. Kicks this. And all of a sudden they get the belief going into three-quarter time. Steady approach. Not the biggest run up. Jabs at the footy. And he likes it. And the umpire's got the two fingers up. And that's a really valuable goal at the 29 minute mark of the third quarter to Noosa as they bring the margin back to 14 points and breathe a sigh of relief as it was starting to look like it was in dangerous territory there. And uh, a lucky opportunity, the umpire felt that the player had been dealt with after he kicked the footy. That'll be Sam Ford that kicked it forward. And Just an important goal, Baz, one that really in the context of the game, 29 minutes in, they looked, all looked lost and, and Maruchidor were all over Noosa. And that goal against the Tide, just real important. The coach had a play, he played his part in that semi foul, used the footy well, and in the end, a free kick to Delbridge. So he's close mate from Morningside. Long quarters, could have taken its toll in the last quarter. I think that could be really important as we get underway again. No, no one wins that ruck. Both buck, ruckmen look lower at, at the ballet, that arms and legs going anywhere, but no one actually touched the footy. As umpire Keegan Mosley comes back in to restart. Big Thorpe up against Tromph. This time, again, no one really gets clean hands. Players come through. But again, the umpire will have the footy and we can't get a centre clearance here. And it's probably been the story of today. Whenever a team has got the clearance, they've done some damage going the other way. Thorpe looks to, will look to just try and punch it, but mistimes that. Ty Williams just chucks it on the boot, just inside 50. Scollard comes out to meet it. Numbers around the fall of the footy, no one can win it. Hacked forward in the Norman direction. Stack over, ran the ball. Fitzpatrick's there, gives a quick handball out to four. Gets a kick away. Fortuitously, he finds Hill. Hill plays on quickly to Stack, who's been busy. Comes down the line to Templeton, but he's been worn like a glove by the experienced Zufa. And we've got a bit of a box on down here. Jakey Warren and Stack left the screen. Oh, watch the footy, you watch the fight. The umpire says, just hang it there, come back in and re-throw it. As the uh, emergency umpire, Matty Willihan, all the way from Townsville, was quick to get in and sort that one out. <laughs> As when the umpire throws the ball back in. Thorpe and Tromp go at it again, as they have done for a lot of today. Hill's working hard this quarter, just hacks it out of the air. Oh, ball's overrun, quick handball there. Boardman looks inside. O'Dwyer again, he's been busy, but Lang's there putting on pressure. McKendrick tackles him, he hasn't got the footy. The umpire said he did have the footy, and it's holding the ball! And McKendrick will have a shot, maybe a tad lucky, Dan. Oh. But he's, uh, he's a good 40 metres out, left goal post, the wind will do the rest. And this could be a crucial kick in the context of this game. We've been going nearly 32 minutes here in the third quarter. Talk us through the kick, Dan. Uh, yes, it's uh, absolutely critical in the context of, uh, there's a premiership at stakes here almost. As he goes back, kicks it just to the right side, drifts across with that win, McKendrick. Important kick, he missed it. Uh, mind you, extremely lucky to get a free kick for a ball that had barely been gathered by the opposition, but nevertheless, I just don't like that that, no, uh, that, that rule uh, Barry at all. But anyway, it's kicked back now. Zufa, big long as he's done most of the afternoon. Back to Stack, he's under pressure, and the ball's taken across the boundary line. And I think we're going to be uh, we're set for what's going to be a ripping last quarter here, Barry. As it ticks into 32 and a half, surely the siren's going to blow at a moment. And again, I think Noosa have brought themselves back into a bit of believability space here. And uh, as it's contested there, Ainsworth comes up with it. Gives the handball and runs over the boundary line again. But... Huge quarter, 33. You're going to wonder if the length of these quarters are going to take their toll. The a lot of players already look like they're out on the feet. We've still got a quarter to play. 
as we tick over 33 minutes here in the third as the umpire throws the ball deep back inside. Quick knock out there by Stewart. Pearson's there. Doesn't really go anywhere. Ball with Fitzpatrick. Got it. Goal! And what a goal that was! What a huge goal in the context of this game. They look like they were really struggling. 20 points down a few minutes ago, and all of a sudden we've got a seven point game, and we've still got time to go here in the third, Dan. Well, the clock says we have it's 33 and a half minutes, and uh, talk about playing the game out in red time, and Noosa have done that. They've kicked two late goals to keep themselves aligned. Kent Elbridge kicked one at the 29 minute mark, and now Jai Fitzpatrick, with a bit of individual brilliance, off, clipped it up off the toes, straightened up, and finished as he does. Uh, so very, very well, and uh, it's now just a seven-point ball game in favour of Marucci. And there's the siren as we just hit 34 minutes to end the third quarter here at Lation Park, and it's Noosa with a late surge, 9-9-63, trailing the reigning Premier's Marucci to a 9-16-70. What a cracking last quarter we've got coming up, Dan. Oh, look, it's uh, an absolute... Uh absolute belter this game I thought at some point there the, with 10 minutes to go that really the way Marucci Dill were looking it looked like blowing the game open they just couldn't get it on the board and ultimately in that uh, latter stage of that quarter Noosa rallied found a little bit of it like, like Marucci Dill had done prior to that in the previous quarter and they've kept themselves alive kept it hasn't been much between them all afternoon five points at quarter time seven points at half time in favor of Marucci and again, another seven points. Both, both teams scored four goals that quarter. Marucci scored four goals, five, and uh, Noosa scored four goals, five as well. So it's a real stalemate. And Barry, I know we keep harping on about the wind that's going to the right, but so far, every quarter, the, score, the team that's kicked into the breeze has outscored the opposition. So maybe that wind is not the three or four goals it looks. Uh, in fact, it, it obviously isn't because they haven't been scoring. Uh, so, Noosa with every chance this quarter, you would think. Loving your analytics, Dan. We'll take a quick break here from Lation Park as we head into the final quarter of the QFA Div 1 Heart Sport Cup Grand Final. And it's Noosa 9-9-63, trailing Maroochydore 9-16-70.